Bluey, how good it is that we bought groceries with our parents at the store. Now we are back in the same world in the game we played last time and can continue to do the development of our house. Oh yes, I'm so happy to be back in this world and to continue building our house today. We have a lot of things to do, like get us food with a fishing rod, get resources, and maybe even add something to our house. Yes, we will definitely improve our house, but we need to be careful. I talked to my friends who also play Minecraft. They told me that in the mines there may be monsters from which we need to further defend ourselves, and we need to be careful not to lose all our resources. You make a very good point. I'll try to be very careful when I'm mining resources and maybe get close to their lair. I would improve the pickaxe to mine resources faster and remove the water that prevents us from doing so. Yes, brother. Please be careful and know that I always have a fish just in case, and we can use it to restore your health. All right, sis. Good luck, and I'll have a surprise for you. And now, while my sister has gone fishing, and I will make just... So for her a surprise, and it will be chests that we can store in them our resources, and no monsters we were not afraid. So now I'm going to make one more chest, and then I need to lay out the resources in my inventory to make it convenient to use them and not get confused. I will place the chests at our feet to make it easier to use them without having to run far for resources. Yay, I set up and made my own chests. I hope my sister likes my surprise. Now I'm going to break down all the unnecessary resources so they don't take up space in my inventory by putting them in chests. I'll put the food in the other chest so it doesn't spoil. I hope the monsters my sister told me about don't get in the way of setting up our house and ruin my surprise for her. Yay. Finally, I've put all the resources in the chest and I have a lot of space in my inventory. However, I will take the necessary materials to make an improved stone pickaxe to speed up resource extraction. It will help me save time, as well as extract resources that I cannot extract with a wooden pickaxe. It's made of three rocks and two sticks. I hope my sister is okay and catches enough fish. Also, I plan to make a stove as I don't like the smell of river fish, and when it's ready, it will smell really good. I can't wait to try out the new pickaxe in action already. I already see enough resources to try it out. Wow, it really helps to mine resources much faster. Now I will need to get iron. It is good that it is here as well as other resources. With the help of the furnace, I can make ingots of iron and improve some other tools or make a completely new one. I'll have to build up the hole later so I don't trip and hurt myself. Phew, now after the walk I can do something really useful for me and my brother. Go fishing! For this I will need a new fishing rod. I just found three sticks and two strings to make it. Interesting. These chests are exactly the surprise for me from my brother. They are very practical and beautiful. I think they will be very useful for us. Great! The rod is ready. Now we can go fishing. The route to go higher still seems dangerous, but I think it will be okay. Today is a great day for fishing, and to catch a couple of fish for dinner. Fishing is a great activity to relax and recharge energy. I hope I will have a great catch. You have to be really careful when climbing. Going up and down these stairs is very dangerous. I finally got up, and now the altitude doesn't threaten me at all. I will never get tired of admiring this wonderful view of the sea, sand, and other distant islands. I've heard there are good and bad spots for fishing. Hopefully right by the downhill side of the house is a good spot, and I can catch a fish quickly. Strange, I can't catch any fish at all. I think I need to change the place. The float doesn't move at all. I run to another spot, hoping to catch more fish while it's still light. I feel like I need to find a deeper spot, as a lot can depend on it. I'll get to the very ledge, and we'll wait for a while. The float is already moving more actively, and I'm already a little hungry. I'll be sure to cook me and my brother some fish, as he doesn't like the smell of raw fish. Yay, I finally caught a fish. I guess I'll be coming here forever for this place will be a success for me. She smells really bad. I hope my brother's not bored without me. That recess looks awful and like something you could trip over and hurt yourself will need to build it up. Oh no, is this the zombie monster my sister told me about? He's so horrible, I hope he doesn't do anything to me. I urgently need a weapon to defeat him and get to the resources. I am very worried about my health and my sister's health. 
Now I need to make a furnace to use it to make ingots. And with the help of ingots, I will make a sword because the pickaxe does little damage to monsters. I hear footsteps, unbearably slow, echoing loudly in the silence. They're coming closer, and I know he's here, a zombie. A dead monster lying in the darkness outside my beautiful dwelling, looming over me with dark eyes devoid of light. I hear footsteps, slow and loud. A zombie, a monster dead man approaching. My heart beats faster, my hands shake. But I have to be brave now, our resources are at stake. I have to be brave and defeat him. Now I need coal to smelt ingots and I can finally forge my first sword to make me stronger. I should see if he's gone, and I don't have to fight him. Maybe I'll open this door and check it out. So far, I have found no resources, and I need to arm myself with at least a stone sword for this. I will need one stick and two blocks of stone. I realize I have nowhere to go, and I have to fight him no matter what, and no matter how scary it gets. I draw my sword and prepare to fight. I feel fear, but I'm determined to defend myself. Gathering my will in a fist, I decide to attack first. This fight cannot be delayed, and how lucky I am that the zombie is stuck in the water trap. By the way, I was planning to remove the water from here, but now it is just in time. Fighting hard, I can feel the strength in me. Finally, the zombie falls. Shaking with adrenaline, I realize victory is mine. He wasn't as fearsome as I'd imagined from my sister's story. I'll put the rotting flesh away from the food and hide it in the trunk just in case. I'll be sure to tell my sister about how I fought him. I was able to catch some fish in my new lucky spot. Now when I get home, I'll cook them in the oven my brother made for me. I can't wait to eat this fish. I hope my brother doesn't complain about the smell. Mmm, this fish is delicious. It's delicious. It was very difficult for me to get water from the spring at altitude, but I managed. Now I really want to use the bucket with water that was made from three ingots of iron that my sister made with the help of a furnace. I need to pour lava so that I can go further down this mine. In the future, I will put torches in its dark places. You can use water and lava to make rocks and then use them in construction. The water keeps pushing me down, but that's okay. Soon it won't be an obstacle for me either and I'll definitely make the ascent. <laughs>